Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Alex. <laughs> I snatched him. Wellington's taking a nap. Say hi, buddy. He said no. He's not take, He's not saying hi. Okay. I got a Dollar Tree haul for you tonight. And I've got some crazy hair. I've been cleaning all day. I like to go into the new year with a clean house and a straight tripod would help. Is that better? Yes. I just like to have my house fresh and I think it's part of the whole like go on as you plan to keep it which never works in my life because I'm so busy but I try. So there'll be a tour up of my winter reset because I kind of missed the boat on the Christmas one. Anyway I went to the Dollar Tree. I got some fun stuff. I got a fire going and let's show you. Oh the first thing I did is I stopped in at Target I didn't really get much. I don't need any more Christmas stuff. I'm purging this year, but um, I do like to get Christmas cards. I give away a lot. I send out a lot. Um, I think these are for work next year, but they're so cute. Ooh. This one with the little bears says, tis the season, bundle up and have a merry one. They're super cute. Sorry about the glare on them. And these are penguins. And this one says, may happiness follow you all through the holidays and into a happy new year. There are 14 cards in here and they were on clearance for $1.50. And I think that's a great price. So I always like to stock up on new cards because I, like I said, I give a lot away. All right, that was all I got there. So then I went to the Dollar Trees because you do that, right? I just have a mess over here. So nothing is in any specific order. Um, I saw this and I was like, um, I need to have this. It's a beautiful little black cat and it's, well, this is gray, but it may become black. It says my favorite people have paws, but I may paint this black and put like something else on it. I don't know, but it's adorable. Just, just how it is. And it's pretty decent size. I mean, and they had a dog one as well. I almost got one for Sarah, but I'm trying not to clutter her house. Um, except for for socks, because I did get her some socks for Valentine's Day with the doggies on them. And the dogs have glitter on their ear, little hearts. They're so cute. And then for me, I picked up the cats. And it's a white cat, but that's okay. With the little bow tie. These are adorable. These are size 5 to 9. I always look to see if they have the bigger size, because I know, like, if you wear a size... I wear an eight, eight and a half, and these are really pushing it for me, but I have a little wider foot. Oh, it says love and the white kitty. So I grabbed that a pair for me and a pair for Sarah. And what's really funny is these are the exact same size, but hers look bigger. So yeah, take that for what it's worth. All right, so I'm starting Valentine's Day, obviously. I picked up four packs of these hearts because I have 14 people on my team at work that celebrate the holidays. And I'm gonna fill these with candy. Um, they're little pla- I can, well, they don't open and reseal and I'm not ready to open them yet, but they open up and you can fill them. And then down here, there's the four little strings and the tags for them. And I thought that was super cute. And I'm pretty sure these will hold like Hershey Kisses or I'm thinking the Hershey Nuggets just for something different. Um, but I got four packs of those. So that'll bring me 16 of them. And that's plenty for my team um, for Valentine's Day. I would just like to do a little something for my friends and families and teams. Um, I grabbed some walnuts. I talked about this on my last one. This is a perfect portion for me when I need to make something. And so I just grab them, keep them in my fridge for cooking and baking and all of the things. Um, the one reason I ran out today, because I saw somebody else hauling this, enabling me. Ooh, I've got my camera backwards. It's the burlap with the glitter. It's glitter hearts. Oh, how cute is that, guys? That ribbon. It's nine feet. So I grabbed two because I think one of these two are going to make bows for these. And then I grabbed the red gingham um, because I love gingham. 
This is, to me, is very summer, but it's also very Valentine's Day. So I might make bows out of these, or I might make bows out of these. I don't know. And when I take you on a craft room tour and you see the amount of ribbon I have, you're going to be like, girl, why are you buying ribbon? Because I don't have that ribbon, right? Um, and then they have the wooden ornaments out. Now they have the plain heart, which is what I picked up, a five pack. I think that'll look cute for Valentine's Day. But then they had some that have like love written on it, outlined, and you can color it in. Then they had hearts with the arrow, but I just like the plain hearts. So uh, my store, like the plain just had the hearts. So I'm not sure if there's anything else, like X's and O's would be fun. Oh, that would be so fun. Like heart in red and then black XO, and then heart in red and black XO. Oh, Dollar Tree, you need to get on that. But for now, I have red hearts for that holiday. Um, that is all I picked up, I think, for Valentine's Day. Um, my store sure did have Easter out, and I sure bought some because you know how it works. If you don't buy it, it goes away. And Easter's, you know, a couple months down the line. But I picked up these little stickers for um, my calendar at work. I have a new wall calendar that's kind of big and I'm going to decorate it for the different, use it like a planner, but it's work related stuff for my team. So I thought this would be awesome to have some fun little spring Easter stickers to put on there. And those are adorable. Look at these guys. I don't remember seeing these last year and they may have had them, but I don't know. They're little burlap bunnies and I think these would be so sweet and just an like a flower arrangement or a plant or something just to kind of decorate, but not like crazy. Um, and it is burlap. Ooh, this ear is, oh, it's not glued on. They're, they're stuck on with a tag. So be careful with that. Um, but yes, I love it. And look at their little bows. They are so sweet. So I grabbed, I just grabbed one pack of those. That's all I need, Lori. That is all you need, Lori. Um, Let's see. Oh, they had, I'm super excited about these, not one, but two sets of these metal words. This one says Happy Easter Blessings on it. And then this one says Spring Bunny Welcome. There's three in each one. So this one has Spring Bunny and Welcome. And I don't, did something spill in here? I don't know if something spilled it feels like it, but I don't know. And then I walked down the aisle and said, girl, you don't need more stationery. You don't need more notebooks because I have tons of notebooks. They had some cute ones, but I didn't need them. And then I turned around and saw this. Look at that. Is that not beautiful for spring? It's a notepad. Now they had it in notepads and journals and the like. I don't need journals, but this can sit on my desk at work. I do a lot of like note taking and things. And so these I'll use up at work more than I'll use up a notebook. Ow, my knee. I may need to stop sitting on the floor till I figure out what's wrong with my knee. So look at that. Isn't that pretty? I just think that is so spring and I can't wait to bring that out. And then I'm going to use this one now. It just says note to self and it's a ta another pad, no magnet, but I'm pretty sure the bottom is like um, serrated. And so you can write notes and then rip it off and take it with you. <gasps> yes. Yes. So you've got this like fun little note thing up here and then you can write a note at the bottom. And then if you need to, you can just tear it off and take it with you. Or if you need to hand it to somebody, like I do a lot of here, look up this account or here, deal with this or here, let's do this. So you can have your note and then a little rip it off. How awesome is that? That is different. I've never seen that before at the Dollar Tree, especially. And it doesn't say, I don't think how many sheets, 50 sheets. They're both 50 sheets. Oh, that is cute. And this is gonna go to work with me Monday. Minus that piece of paper. And the other one I'll probably take to work and just put it in my desk drawer until I need it. Okay, then for Easter, this is why I feel like they have more coming out for Valentine's Day. Easter had five of these ornaments. Um, they had the little ducky or the little chick, which is adorable. Um, obviously the egg shape, the carrot, and the bunny. 
So I feel like if they're going to have five for Easter, wouldn't they have more than one for Valentine's Day? I don't know. Or four. Girl, can you count? There's four here, not five. So I have four for Easter, and I will definitely make a spring-type garland out of these for my mantle. I love a fun garland. So I got four of these. I just grabbed one of each. Um, because that's what you have to do, right? You have to pick up things. Um, I am totally remaking this somehow. And this is a nice sign. I believe this is MDF. But do you see how thick that is? That is a nice sign. And it's a polar bear. And it says, life is a journey. Enjoy it. I don't, I don't love the print on it. I'm probably going to sand him down and paint him like white. Um, because he's a polar bear. Polar bears are white, right? And it's a decent size again. I like that a lot. And I think it'll go with my winter theme around here or not. I don't know. But I'm thinking of a DIY for that. i got to come up with more DIYs, guys. I'm running out of ideas in my memories. I don't know. They had the new Bolero stuff out. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Bolero. I like the face wipes, but I'm pretty stocked up on that. The masks are okay. The lotion is terrible. I don't ever use the lotion. and the um, But I'm super dry. So... Um, and I haven't tried the shower gel, but I have so much. But they have something different. I want to give it a try. It is eye cream to go under your eyes. And this one is hydrating. And it has um, coconut and rose hip in it. Oh, you're getting a bad glare here. Sorry. And this one is black tea and lychee. And it's soothing. Yeah, something. Let's open these up. Because I'm not giving them away. I'm going to use them. I'm going to try them anyway. We'll see how that works out. Guys, why don't I ever just sit down with a pair of scissors? I'm, I'm, this is not my first rodeo. Okay. So this is... Oh, it's got one of those sticky thingies on the back. I hate those things. Okay. So this is what the packaging looks like. Looks like eye cream, right? A little tube. And we're going to try it. It's pretty thick, which is nice because all the other stuff, we're taking off the glasses. And you're supposed to like rub it under your eyes, right? Like eye cream. It smells really good. And it's very thick and it feels pretty soothing. So let's see. Do I look younger? <laughs> um, I don't know. Apply a small amount under eye morning and night. Now my skin is super sensitive. So I'm waiting to see if it like tingles or something. It does not hurt. Um, might be a slight amount of stinging, but that could be from the fruit or the tea. Tea bags are really known as an anti-inflammatory, I think, properties in them. I don't know why they put this rubber stuff on. It doesn't even stick. Well, it sticks to the tube, but it did not stick to the plastic. Yeah, this feels nice. It's nice and cooling. I'm not going to put the second one on. I just want to smell it. And then this one is coconut and rose hips. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, yeah, I smell the coconut. That's nice. I would actually use this. I mean, it feels like it's doing something opposed to... The, the reason I don't like their product, the hand cream is very watery and it does not moisturize at all. I've got tons of moisturizer. You know, I have Eucerin. I have CeraVe. I've got Bag Balm. I have... Um, Lubiderm. I have a vino. I use all the moisturizers. But that was everything, guys. Thanks for putting up with me and my crazy hair today. I need a haircut, but obviously it's the holidays and I haven't done that yet. Hope I'm not blurry. 
I don't think so. All right, everybody, you have a good one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.